Here's an excellent piece of cleaning advice for every person watching this video. Always, and I mean always, start every cleaning job with the safest, most basic product available to you. There's always a need for specialty cleaning products, but most jobs can also be tackled with really basic ingredients. You've heard us talk about this many times before. Baking soda, white vinegar, rubbing alcohol, and one of my personal favorites, dish soap or dish liquid or washing up liquid, whatever you call this stuff in here. Dish soap has a million cleaning uses aside from the very obvious, but that's a lot to film. So today I'm gonna to share a few of my favorite ones with you. Floor cleaner. Dish soap makes for an excellent floor cleaner. Just add a few drops of dish soap or a pinky nail's worth to a bucket of very warm, borderline hot water. This is a simple solution that will leave your hardwood, your laminate, tile, and even cement floors looking fantastic. Grease Stain Buster. Dish soap is easily one of the safest things you can put on fabrics when you get a stain, which is why it's used to treat so many different stains, especially grease stains. Dish soap can be applied directly to grease stains and then gently rubbed in just using your fingers, adding a bit of water. And you let this sit for a few minutes and then rinse the area with cool water and launder as you normally would. Quickly clean a blender. I mentioned this not too long ago in one of our cleaning hack videos, but I felt it too useful to not share again. So if you wanna quickly clean your blender after each use, simply add a couple of drops of dish soap and fill your blender until it's about a quarter full with warm water. Pop the blender back on the base and blend that mess away. Here's something I get asked a lot. How to clean kitchen cupboards because they often get sticky and greasy. And the answer is actually pretty straightforward if you have some dish soap handy. Mix one part dish soap to 10 parts water in a spray bottle. Pre-treat your greasy cupboards with this mixture. Leave it for about five minutes or so. Then get a non-scratch sponge, wet the sponge down and start scrubbing those cupboards. Use a lot of elbow grease and definitely more product if needed. Then rinse and buff dry. You'll see the grease is gone. Here's a handy tip for those like me who have a bit of a fascination with nail polish. Before you apply your nail polish, soak your fingertips in a mixture of one part dish soap and 20 parts warm water. You can use a big glass bowl like I have here and just let your fingers soak for five to seven minutes. This will remove some of the oils from your fingernails as well as some of the dirt and make it easier for the nail polish to stick to your nails. You'll actually get a better manicure out of it. This is a wonderfully safe and affordable alternative to harsh weeding chemicals. And you probably have all of the ingredients you need in your house right now. Just take an empty spray bottle, add a good squirt of dish soap, about a half cup of salt, and fill the rest with another Clean My Space staple, white vinegar. Then just spray this solution directly on the weeds or in areas where weeds are prone to grow. Do be careful though, it's non-toxic, but it will kill any plant life you spray it on. Everybody loves marbling granite, but cleaning it can be a hassle. So don't overcomplicate things and stick to a regular cleaning routine that involves nothing more than dish soap and warm water. You can take great care of your natural stone by creating your own countertop spray. And you can also use this solution for floors. Just take a pinky nail's worth of dish soap Put it in a spray bottle, fill it with water, and use that for your counters, or you can use the same pinky nails squirt of dish soap in a bucket filled with warm water. If you get something really greasy, like cooking oil or Vaseline or peanut butter in your hair, here's a quick and easy way to wash it out, which is, in my opinion, more effective than shampoo. When showering, just add a dab of dish soap to your hands and work it into your hair just like it was shampoo. Be sure to rinse well and you'll notice just how effective dish soap is at dealing with all of that grease. And for you hair product junkies out there, you can do this about once a month to tackle any greasy buildup that hair products leave behind. But don't make a habit of using this instead of shampoo. It will strip your hair of all natural oils. Did you know that dish soap is also an awesome window cleaner? In fact, it's the choice of many window cleaning pros. It cuts through greasy window film like nothing else 
and leaves a nice clean finish. Just add a few drops, again, about a pinky nail's worth of dish soap into a pail of warm water and you're good to go. You can also add about half cup of white vinegar for extra grime fighting action. Then you can buff it dry with a flat microfiber cloth and your results will be incredible. Pretty amazing stuff, huh? And here's one last tidbit to take with you. Anytime you need warm, soapy water for anything, this is the stuff they're referring to. It's a pH neutral cleaner, meaning it's one of the safest soaps you can use on dirt, grease, and grime, and definitely one of my favorite cleaning products. If you look down there, you'll find something that looks like this. It's a comment box, and if you find it, be sure to leave us your cleaning questions in it. You know, we might just answer your question in an upcoming video. There's also a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you like the video. And click this to subscribe for even more cool cleaning videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.